Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Alright guys, so today we're going to find out which 7-inch tablet is the best on the market. If you remember before, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 uh, 7.0 was going to be the best one last time around, and now we have a new contender which is definitely taking the market by storm, sold out of most major retailers, and that is the Google Nexus 7, uh, made by Asus of course. Now, in terms of tablets, um, they feel very different, both very lightweight, uh, the Nexus is slightly lighter, but uh, both very lightweight and both lighter than the um, old competitor, the Kindle. Now, in terms of one thing you see off the back is their texture is very different, uh, Samsung has more of a plastic texture, whereas the Nexus has more of a rubber texture. Both are really easy to hold for a long period of time, you won't have any kind of issues holding them. I do prefer the Nexus a little bit more just because it has a real good grip to it, as where the Samsung is a little bit more slidey. Um, that's even a word, which it's not, but you know. Now, first thing to note is the camera on the back. The Samsung has one, the Nexus does not, so that is one thing the Nexus does not have. Uh, the other thing being a micro SD card slot, which the Samsung does have and the Nexus does not. So that's the Samsung's two advantages. Um, in terms of the Nexus advantage, it has obviously a newer operating system as well as it's going to have the better resolution in terms of screen. So when we go to apps on both, and let's just zoom in. The text is going to be a bit finer when it comes to the Nexus, uh, just because it has a 1280 by 800 resolution. Whereas this one has the standard 7 inch resolution of, um, I want to say 1024 by 640, it's been a while. Uh, but yes, basically, um, you can definitely tell when reading uh, and what browsing web pages that the Nexus has a, a bit of a better screen in terms of resolution. In terms of color reproduction, though, definitely goes to the Samsung just for their screen quality over the IPS that Asus puts on it. So we'll go over that, though, in a little bit. And uh, let's just start right into some of the basics. So let's go into a reading books because, you know, a lot of people still buy the seven inches for that purpose mainly, and that is to read books. So let's pull up the same book. And uh, this is a definite way you can see the color reproduction. It's the same uh, chapter, same page on the same book. But uh, there's two things that are important to note, and that is one, even though they're zoomed in the same, that you actually get more um, on this one. You get about a sentence more compared to this one. So where it says like a uh, right there, that is the end of this page. So again, just a bigger resolution. However, you can also tell one thing, and that is Asus has a really hard time with whites. Um, whereas Samsung has no problem reproducing it. Um, now some people say that the white will be a little bit bluish on here. So, you know, it's a preference. But I've definitely noticed that, that the Asus, um, and I'll go to websites too, and you'll be able to see when, it's, especially when it's zoomed in, it has a bit of trouble with whites. So, just something important to know. Um, in terms of clarity though, both pretty good, but again, the clarity would go to the Asus and it has a bigger resolution so you can fit more on the page. Um, no problem in terms of e-readers though, and you have all of them available of course. You have the Google one, which I'm using right now, but you can feel free to download the Amazon app, um, Kindle app, as well as the Nook app, Kobo app, whichever one makes you happier. Now in terms of web browsing, in terms of web browsing, they are fairly close actually. Let's bring up both. And again, you can see the screen difference in terms of not off-white versus a true white. Um, and I honestly never noticed it till I put it next to the Samsung. So I actually use the Nexus for um, about a week now, and I did not notice it at all um, until, like I said, I was able to see it with the Samsung, and then I started noticing it all the time. All right. Um, Actually, let's just do this to kind of see how they load pages. 
msn.com msn.com Okay, well obviously you have the newer version of the speak right there. msn.com There you go. So in terms of loading pages, neither one has a problem. If you remember, the Samsung beat out pretty much every other uh, web browser, even ones with the Tegra 3, which that's an important thing to note that I forgot a little bit ago, which is, of course, this has a Tegra 3 quad-core processor in it, whereas this only has a dual-core uh, 1 gigahertz processor in it. So uh, the speed should always go to this, plus it has Android 4.1, which has Project Butter, which makes 4. Point, which is faster than 4.0 on the 7-inch. And in terms of web browsing, now let me see. So, in terms of web browsing, they're both pretty quick. I know I'm a lot quicker with my right hand. So, not really a problem. So not really a problem for either one. Um, the Nexus generally wins it. I know I always have to kind of put them on the opposite side because my right hand is always quicker than my left. So, oops. Oh, well, we're having a little bit of lag on that one. Which I just always notice with the Tegra 3 processors that they lag on web browsing. I think it's just something uh, with them that uh, they've had issues with. But overall, generally, this one has been going faster. Just depending, of course, on how intense the website is. If it's like this, where it has lots of HTML5, it obviously will make a difference. Let's go to another website. Actually, no, that'll be fine. But uh, this one's very HTML5 intensive and it's still going really smooth. Um, overall, though, the Nexus has won it more times out of not. And now let's check out the music browser. Alright, let's just play this. see the music player is going to be a lot louder on the Samsung. It just has a louder music and you can definitely notice it. Now in terms of video, let's check both of these out. Alright, now important thing to note, I'm playing the same video but there's a disclaimer here and that is the on the movie transformers on this one it allows me to put the hd for the nexus now the nexus has a better resolution so that's probably why however comparing to the samsung it does not allow me to put it on hd so a little disclaimer let's take a look at see how they look we are not looking for that here no brown nosing no suck up no toolery Is Chantel using what appears to be a red cup from the red floor when we Okay, well, let's see that same scene right here. We are not looking for that. No suck up, no toolery. I. Yes, Mr. Brazos. Um, why is Chantel using what appears to be a red cup from the red? All right. 
So, um, I think it should hopefully be apparent on the video, but one thing I've noticed again is the whites. You can definitely tell on here and just um, the overall quality looks better on videos from here to here. Um, even the yellow in the back, on here it's yellow, on here it's orangish. Um, so the overall quality is going to be better on your videos for the Samsung instead of the Nexus. Alright. And now the camera difference. Alright, uh, let me just go over real quickly on the camera difference. The Samsung has a much better um, camera on the back, obviously, because this one does not have a camera. However, the front camera on the Samsung compared to the Asus one is very poor. So the Asus will have a much better front camera. It does not have a back camera, whereas the Samsung will. In terms of gaming, there's just no competition. The Asus is dominates the gaming field uh, simply because of the Tegra 3 quad core and it makes it available for more games. So it's definitely going to be one thing to note. Uh, another thing I definitely found is the Samsung just got an update today which made it a lot quicker in landscape mode, but not as quick in portrait mode. So just so you can see the difference. So it's really a lot quicker in terms of landscape now. It just has no slowdown, but if I immediately put its portrait, it's still that same kind of laggish feel, which is interesting because it seems like they uh, made it more of a 10 inch kind of design, whereas this is obviously a seven inch design. So just an important thing to note uh, that just happened today. In terms of battery life, uh, the Nexus 7 would uh, be a bit better. You're talking about a nine to 10 hour battery life uh, on average. Whereas on the Samsung, you get about an 8 hour battery life, uh, 7 sometimes if you're doing really intensive stuff. Both have great standby time though. If you're not using them, they will not uh, drain battery life quickly at all, So, which is uh, really nice for both of them. So in terms of conclusions, alright guys, let's tally it up like we always do. So uh, for web browsing, the overall winner for that does go to the Nexus 7. Now at times the Galaxy Tab 2 um, will beat it and at times the Nexus 7, but overall web browsing does typically go better on the Nexus 7, so I'm going to give it to it, although honestly both are great for web browsing, so I just want to say that. Look and feel will also go to the Nexus, just really nice design, a very premium feel and definitely feels good in the hand, as well as a 4.1 just uh, is a lot better. Jelly beans a lot better than ice cream sandwich and it's worth the difference. In terms of cameras, overall I have to give it to the Samsung just because the back camera is still going to be better than the front camera that the Nexus has. So overall the camera is going to go to the Samsung. For price point, uh, have to give it to the Nexus. You get more storage for your money. At 199 8 gig and 249 you do get it for 16 gigs, whereas the Samsung gives you 8 gigs only for the 249 model, but of course you do have the expandable memory, so um, it just depends. In terms of music and movies, it does go to the Samsung. Better speakers, better screen quality overall, especially when it comes to just watching a movie, so it will go to the Samsung for that. In terms of gaming and battery life, it has to go to the Nexus 7. Better gaming and better battery life, just all around. You want gaming, you want the Nexus. And extras, of course. So it's going to go to the Nexus. Um, you have Android 4.1, which just gives a lot more extras, like the uh, much better speech search, Google Now, and just a really quick experience. So it just feels a lot better. Alright guys, so you see the winner, it is the Nexus 7. This is the best tablet to get if you are looking for a 7 inch tablet. Um, my recommendation is though, um, definitely the better one worth getting is the 16 gig. I'll go more into that when I, go in, when I do the full review, but I definitely would get the 16 gig over the 8 gig. It's worth the difference. Alright guys, uh, this has been RICKY, the Android guy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.